control costs, forecasting. In the process determined budget, the total project budget was developed and approved. This value is sometimes called BAC, budget at completion. As the project progresses and you observe its performance, it is possible to develop a forecast for the estimate at completion, EAC, that may actually differ from the BAC. Estimate at completion answers the question, what are the total costs that we currently expect for the project? Forecasting the EAC involves making projections of conditions and events in the project's future based on current performance information and other knowledge available at the time of the forecast. The work performance information covers the project's past performance and any information that could impact the project in the future. EACs are typically based on the actual costs incurred for the work completed, plus an estimate to complete, ATC, of the remaining work. The most often forecasting approach is a manual bottom-up summation by the project manager and the project team. The project manager's manual EAC can be compared with a range of calculated EACs, representing various risk scenarios. When calculating EAC values, the cumulative CPI and SPI values are typically used. Earned value management method can quickly provide many statistical EACs. The first one is EAC forecast that assumes uh, that ETC work will be performed at the budgeted rate. This EAC method accepts the actual project performance to date whether favorable or unfavorable, and predicts that all future ATC work will be accomplished at the budgeted rate. Simply speaking, whatever happened so far, since today we will perform according to the plan. The second EAC forecast assumes that the ETC work will be performed at the present CPI. What the project has experienced till now, it will be expected to continue in the future. The ETC work is assumed to be performed at the same cumulative cost performance index as till today. The third EAC forecast considers that the ETC work will be performed at an efficiency rate that considers both the cost and scheduled performance indexes. This method is most useful when the project schedule is a factor impacting the future effort. There are also some variations of this method that take the CPI and SPI at different weights, for example, 80% to 20%. Each one of these forecasts is applicable to any given project and will provide the project management team with an early warning signal if the EAC forecasts are not within the acceptable tolerances.